Hello and welcome. It's time for an Empyrean Galactic Survival video here on Vios Funhouse. I'm starting in, uh, I took over the Thermite Station. So I just, I had to rebuild it a bit because I really hammered the hell out of it to to knock out the guns before I got here. But I've done a lot of rebuilding here. We can see we're outside of Kua. There's my first capital vessel, the, the USS Enterprise. We're not going to take that one back down to the surface. We're going to take the big boy so I can show you uh, my base down on Akua. So we've got everything running smooth here. We've got the elevators back together. I had the whole center of this section was just blown apart. So I had to really do a lot. My O2 is good. I don't need to eat just yet. So, all right, we're going to go out to... Where is oh, hello. There's salty. We'll just use this door over here. I put a gravity generator in this station. That way you can just walk around without having to use a jump pack. But I'm gonna have to turn my jetpack on now because oh, that's sad. I thought I had this fixed and then I had a fail save I guess and then when I came back it wasn't repaired again. But we'll just call this our airlock. Okay, jetpack activated. Oh crap. All right, here we go. There's my ship. Now this is my baby. This one, both of these ships are pre-made, and you you know you can use uh, you could make your own custom ones, but I just modified this one a little bit to suit my needs. I love this capital vessel. This thing is so sweet. Check out how you get into it. You get into the belly right here. It's so cool. Okay, and it's a little hanky until you <laughs> until you turn your jet back off. And then stand up normally. Oh my gosh, here we go. Okay, now we're going to go to the bridge. There's the warp drive inside this ship. Oh gosh, it's so sweet. I just, I get a nerd boner every time I get in this thing. Alright, here's the control panel. So we're going to get in. We're already fired up. I have not turned this. Well, I better check. Oh, we're fine on fuel. Okay. Alright, so we're going to head towards the planet's surface. Okay. I'm going to go outside view just so I can get my bearings a little bit. Okay, Akua's over here to the right. Let's keep turning. Uh, okay. Having some... <laughs> having some issues with steering here. Okay, why don't we want to... Try and help it a little bit by flying to the right. Alright, there's Akua's moon. I've been there several times. Okay. I got it now. It's been a few weeks since I've been here. There's a Kua. And there's what I call the Thumb Lake. So my base is just, just, uh, let's see. Should be just to the left of the what I call the Thumb Lake there. If you see that little peninsula sticking out. Anyway, there's nothing left on a Kua. Uh, I've pretty much destroyed every enemy settlement and claimed it for my own and use it for resources and whatnot. But I'm, I spent so much time on this base, I'm not going to give it up. We're re-entering the atmosphere, oh my goodness. And lag, and lag, okay. Let's let off the thrusters here. There we are, back into atmosphere. And I need to use V just so I can see where the heck I'm going. Oh, we've got a bad guy on the ground that my guns are shooting at, okay. Okay, well, apparently, there's a bad guy on the ground because my automatic weapons are firing at it. Okay, well, apparently, we got it. So, let's figure out. Oh, I thought it was right here at my... No, my base is over here. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, let's take off. Oh, I have a little bit of uh, restriction on my desktop right now. I've got some projects open that... No, it's pretty good. Looks like the sun's up at my base. Or coming up at my base, anyway. Well, I haven't been down here in a while, but apparently... Apparently the locals are uh, a little feisty. Well, it looks pretty good. Look at that sunrise. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, see, it's a little difficult to fly this uh, in this mode. So I'm going to go back to V just to get her set down. I've made this huge base that juts out into the lake. Oh, hello. All right, let's... We don't want to go hit that antenna. All right, there's a little bit of... 
I'm disoriented. I've been working in space on this game for a few days, so I was like, okay, there we go. Now we can hit Alt, so we can actually look around a little bit. We'll lose a little bit of altitude, see where we're at. Okay, so I was actually low in the front. Okay, well, we're down now. And we can hit Y to go ahead and shut the ship off. Go back inside. Go to first person mode. We can take off our helmet because we can breathe now. We're in an atmosphere. Thing is, we're in manual mode, so we'll have to open all of our doors to get in and out of stuff. There we go. So here we are on the surface. And there's Vios Funhouse headquarters that I've built over the last couple months. Just kind of did some some aesthetic upgrades, you know, with the brick and whatnot on the facade there. And the cool columns with the stone columns I put in. I'll take you for an inside tour in a moment. I'll just go around and show you the perimeter of all that I had to excavate. Everything you see back here. This hill is part of the natural landscape. And, of course, it slopes towards the lake. So I had to excavate all that dirt out of the way just to put in all this concrete. Oh, look, there's a floating bush. That's something they haven't fixed yet. I've, I've destroyed that several times, and it just keeps growing back. But, hey, it's an alpha, so. So here is my base. There's my greenhouse. It's where I grow stuff. I'm surprised that things are not growing since I've been here. Interesting. Maybe I have to show them love to show them that, that I care. I guess it's not been that long since I've been here. Gosh, fuel is still all full good. We haven't had to fight off any attackers. We still got ammo. So here is the like regular crew quarters uh, that I built. This has you know a couple of plants and control panels, and then you know seating area, computer desk, TV, that kind of stuff. Then down here to this side, we've got bathrooms, a uh, well, bathroom and shower. You know, so yeah, don't want to bore you with the bathroom and shower. So up here then would be like you know this would be the officer quarters they got their own private shower uh, and bed up here overlooking there's the uh, the SS McSalty that we just flew in on yeah what a great ship I've added a few upgrades to that if you look at the cannons on the top not all that came with this ship so I've actually I've upgraded the weaponry quite a bit because I've been in some pretty bad battles and I've had to do so many repairs of this ship and it's it's time consuming but definitely worth it. Now this oh yeah there's a toilet behind an armored door uh, for giggles. Uh, nice bookcase. I didn't know if I noticed that on the way up so yeah nice bookcase. Now then we go down and we're going to go to the captain or the commander the base commander's quarters. We go up over this way and then we go into cool elevator and we have the the commander's quarter so he you know pretty much oversees all that he is in charge of here okay I, just, I need to do some texture work on it got some cool marble floors of course you come right to the bathroom this is his place he's the only one that comes here so you know he's got his bed here and he's got the whole floor to go out and look around I mean all of that landscape is changeable you can go out there and mine the hell out of it and change the way it looks and add things and here you can see a really good shot of of the McSalty. And you can see that my Enterprise, uh, my other capital vessel, fits nicely next to it on the pad. That's how big that is. If you count each one of those grid squares, uh, thousands of concrete blocks I've used to make this this my own little domain. The reason I set the base here not only was for the water, because water is great. You can make O2 from water, and you can also make uh, hydrogen. And what's the other... There's another resource that we need to be near the water for. Oh, water, duh. So we can make drinkable water, which also works in other recipes and whatnot. Look how far I had to go out over the lake to support my capital vessel. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway, okay, don't want to make the video too long. So there you go. That's kind of it in a nutshell. All kinds of cool building. I just love that view. All kinds of cool building uh, techniques. Uh, it's all block. Minecrafty style, which is cool, and then you can actually paint the textures on. You can put lettering on. Um, this window was put in backwards. That's why you see the film is reversed, and I, I don't know how to fix that corner type thing yet. I'm still working it out. All right, so I think that's about it. So for Vile's Fun House, I'm Vile. I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.
for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share.